beginning, stop everything, and don't even think. Then put your mind at ease right at the center of your body. And that's it. It's so easy. First comes the light, then comes the star with the super bright. Sister stars, brother stars, mother stars, father stars, and even nephew stars. They all come out for you to see. And that's the door to your destiny. There's a place on Hi everyone and hello to all the shining stars out there. Welcome to our shining star programs hosted by Kiss, Kiss, Kiss. Love. Love, Peace, Peace. Friendly. Friendly. Hi everyone, I'm Isis. And I'm Max. Isis and I are both fourth grade, fifth graders from California. Hi everyone, I'm a sixth grader from California. Thank you and welcome to our weekly Shining Stars program. Hi everyone, this is Trang and I'm from Texas. We would like to welcome each and every one of you to our weekly Monday evening streaming of Shining Stars program from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Facebook and YouTube of Kids Love Peace 20, where you can also join us via Zoom Meeting ID is 965-6865-2090 and the passcode is 072. So together with Thomas, Max and Isaac and I will be your host this is evening. Our Shining Stars program aims to reinforce the outstanding creative actions and positive thinking in kids and in their everyday lives. Positive encouragement creates a motivational environment for both children and adults to continue doing their best, being their best, and wildly sharing these moments of joy and acknowledging. And bringing to the forefront all the good deeds and actions done over the past week to inspire their creativity, praise their achievements, promote their incredible performances, and help each other feel proud of oneself, actions, and thoughts. We also include a 10-minute guided meditation at the end where the benefits of evening meditation lead to a great, great night's sleep and mental clarity to prepare you for an exciting new day. Parents and friends, help us spread word around by, sharing, by passing word and, and sharing Chinese stars to your friends. You start it at any time in the comment box. During the program, type over a hi so we can see who's joining us this evening. Yes, we love your interaction. As Thomas said, share your comment with us in the comment box just below your screen. So let's um, not wait any longer. Uh, Isis, what do we have for the, this evening? This evening, we will bring you to watch Thomas's transplantation of the corn plant. Thomas, I'd like to know how you plant corn. First, I planted the corn seeds in a pot so I could observe them grow. When the seedling grew up, I moved it to the ground so it would have more space to grow. Thomas, what are the benefits of moving plants from one place to another? The benefits of moving plants from one place to another are moving the seedlings that have big roots may affect, I mean, will have a big effect on the growth and will help the growth speed up quickly because the roots don't have such a restricted space to grow. Very interesting. 
So now we will watch uh, Thomas transplantation of corn plants. So kids, are you ready? Sit back, relax, and let's watch together. So these are my corn plants that I germinated from seed for about three weeks. And I threw them in a pot. As you guys know, um, Corn can grow very big, so we have to transfer it to the ground on this spot that I have prepared here. We'll have to dig the hole, and then I have my garden assistant, my dad, here to help me if I need any help. So, yeah. So, first we need to dig the hole, and go over here. Go in the middle. I can't do this part. Okay. Here we have our corn. See all those roots? See how big they've gotten? And they're only this big. And they've got all these roots crawling everywhere. See those white roots? Those are their roots. So now we're going to take this right here. And I made the hole too deep. So I got to put some dirt in it. is okay and and then um, now all we need to do is we have to take the dirt and put it on top of the corn and then uh, we'll water it and then uh, I'll show you what happens after that. Now keep in mind that when you plant stuff like this you gotta be very gentle with the plant that you're that you're planting because they are. And I don't know what my garden assistant is gonna do with this type of dirt, this leftover dirt, because we're pretty much done planting now. Just maybe a little bit more. corn planted. Now we'll take this hose and water the corn. Oh actually we need to make something else first. We have to make like we need to make like a bowl kind of thing. So we use this leftover here, put it on there. And then we use our hands to shape it like a bowl, like this, so the water does not escape when we water it. Oh, sorry. Now, um, my camera person is going to show you around the corn to see how it looks like with it planted into the ground while I go wash my hands. So, yeah. Wow, thank you so much for sharing how to transfer the corn seedling to us, Thomas. So yeah, you are the pro grower, Thomas. 
And um, kids at home, um, have you ever transplanted a seedling like that? And what did you transplant? Let's share with us in the comment or chat box below, okay? And also, have you ever thought that we are like a plant? So for further growth, we have to find a better environment to develop ourselves. Thomas, um, Isis, and uh, Max, so can you give us uh, your experience where you find a better environment to develop yourself? It can be you know, in academic environment or your daily life activities. In my experiment, experience, um, uh, I go to swimming and swimming helps me because I'm very bad at holding my breath. So when I hold my breath in the water, it helps me much better than I was. For me, when I play soccer, it is helping me with my leg muscles and helping me become a much better soccer player. And for me, uh, when uh, when I do track, it does help me like build up muscles, and uh, it's really fun too. Oh, that's great! Uh, you're you're awesome, uh, Max, Isis, and Thomas. So for myself, um, I love to keep up with a meditation practice for at least one to two hours per day. So I chose to throw myself to join a meditation group. Uh, you know, on Zoom with other meditators so that I can keep up with the good practice so that I can have a clear mind and uh, a happy life so that I can smile more. So now to our guided meditation, Meng Gorawit Wachiro will lead us tonight from Tamakaya International Meditation Center in Azusa, California. So please welcome Meng Gorawit. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Hello, Chang. Hello, Isis. Hello, Max. Hello, Thomas. And hello to everyone out there. Um, did you have a great weekend? Yes, right? Of course. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful sunshine today. I hope you guys uh, have fun and happy and enjoy your day um, before we go to bed tonight. So um, I'd like you to uh, enjoy our shining star and we will meditate together before we go to the meditate um about a topic it's really good job on planting the the corn it's really i'm agree even me i have to be in the good environment too okay and we're gonna meditate and we're gonna go back to the topic later on okay so right now just clear your mind and then uh, make yourself relax you can stretch your um, your neck, okay, have a deep breath in for a couple times, all right, and of course, this is really um, helpful, smile, okay, smile to each other, <laughs> okay, so that will bring you a good mood, and then when you have a good mood, your mind will relax, your tension will go away, and then it's suitable for your uh, meditation, okay, so we're gonna have like a short very really short uh, meditation together, okay? So from this moment, let's find your comfortable sitting position, your favorite chair, your favorite um, sofa, whatever, just calm and peaceful, gentle and relaxed. And if you sit on the floor, your right leg over your left leg, your right hand over your left hand with your right index finger, touch the left thumb. If you sit on the chair or the sofa, let your legs down and your feet touch the ground, very simple very gentle and relaxed. And close your eyes in the soft and gentle way. Close them softly and gently. Relax by taking a deep breath in. 
and down really slowly and gen gently. And every time you breathe in, breathe in peace, joy, and happiness. And when you breathe out, breathe out all the concerns worries and tension. Breathe it all out. In and out. Slowly and gently. With the deep breathing, you can feel more relief more relaxed, easy and simple. Now you can start to breathe as normal and allow the pure energy, the relaxed energy, kindness, energy spread all over your body. It's like you take a shower in the morning when you feel the water flowing down from the top of your head, your face, your ear, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, down to your tips of your fingers and gently relax. Release and then let it be. Feel your body, your legs, down to your tips of your toes. Very soft and gentle. Release and relax. Until you feel your whole body. Every single cell, every single part in your body become loose. Start to melt away the surrounding around you, bring to the nature. Today is a beautiful Monday. We can imagine ourselves fly up high from the place that you are living, up into the sky up into the atmosphere of the earth and out from the atmosphere of the earth into the vast silent space in the universe. Feel free. You are alone, but not lonely. You are alone there, but in the sense of solitude, with happiness. With no one can bother you. Just up in the space. And start to feel the sweet silence in the universe and then to the quiet place to the solitude and allow the peaceful loving energy melt away with your body and you expand 
melt away to the universe, becoming one, like your body turned crystallized, very clear, very bright. Your particles in your body crystallized. You can remain calm, peaceful, and gentle. If you feel good being here, just stay there. If you feel any thought arise and let them fly away. Let them fly away like a bird in the sky with the easy feeling. With a nice feeling. Let them settle down. But if your mind wander too much, you can pop up something bright, like the sun, the moon, the star in your stomach. Anywhere in your stomach, you can feel the brightness shining from your body, your inner body. You can feel the sound of mantra. Samma Araham Samma Abraham Samma Abraham Can maintain this good feeling Maintain your nice feeling Enjoy this in the peace time Feel calm and peace inside yourself. Learning the silent moment. If you feel some peace, loving energy, you can allow that pure energy to expand throughout your body. Every single cell, every single part, share it to your loved ones. You can share it to your brother and sister, your father and mother, your friend, your neighbor. Share it to everyone in the world. Wish them happy. Remain calm, peaceful, and gentle. You can allow this pure awareness be with you throughout the day or until you go to bed tonight.
ตาพระพุทธานุภาเวนะสัพพธรรมานุภาเวนะสัพพสังฆานุภาเวนะสัทธาสถีพระวันตุเปโซ่ and slowly and gently open your eyes you remain calm and gentle inside yourself how was it how was your meditation I wish you guys uh, enjoy my meditation I took you guys to the space look at my virtual background so you can feel like free and you know like emptiness and you know um, if you feel your body light okay all right um of course um i like to know how you're feeling if you feel happy you feel enjoy the meditation please type one and you if you can you know imagine or like see some light like crystal ball or like buddha or any kind of object inside please type two And of course, you can type anything you feel. If you feel happy. You feel peace. You feel relaxed. Just you know, write it down below in the comment box. Okay. And about the topic today is very interesting. Okay, it's really short. Okay, I just want to give you guys. Um, we all know that we want to live in a good environment, right? And then, I wonder what is a good environment. Any suggest? Any idea? The good environment. How important? Well, I would say if you are, let's say, Isis, Max, and Thomas, and Trang, if you guys are a beautiful flower, okay, like an orchid or like a rose or like jasmine, you like beautiful or if you're a big tree, you can give them. Um, People like shade and some, you know, like good place for rest. But if you are uh, plant in the bad soil, no water, no fertili uh, fertilization, right? Then you cannot grow well. You're gonna be small. You cannot give you a flower, right? So it must be in a good place. So I would say the same thing. I would say. We are human. We are people. We must be in a good place too. Let's say the good place is um, you have to be uh, in a good dwelling, like good geography. No storm, no earthquake. Um, like it's easy to find a food, right? Yeah. And then so the good dwelling, good um, the healthy food. Okay, and um, also, uh, people around you is good person, good people. Okay, and the last one, um, is a uh, dharma is a good dharma. Like when you you have a wisdom people around you, okay, they can teach you like some knowledge, like your good teacher, um, good mother and father. They give you techniques to live your happy life. You know. Okay, so four four thing. Um, first, dwelling the right dwelling. Second, the uh, um, food like you have have healthy food. Okay, no toxic. And then the third is the people around you. And the fourth is the um, dharma. Okay, dharma is like a wisdom and knowledge. You can easily find the knowledge and dharma. Okay, so when you are in this four place, there's so many uh, many many benefits such as. Uh, when you want to improve yourself, you want to build good habits. It's easier for you to um, build a good habit. If you are a friend, um, like sleep late, play game all night, and then wake up late, then you, of course, you're gonna be in that habit too, because it's your close friend, right? But if, in another contra contrary, when you have a good friend, like sleep early, um, listen to your father and your mother, and then wake up in the morning. Help your mother. Um, help your parents do chores. You're gonna have like that friend, and then you will adapt that habit to yourself too. Okay. And when you do good, you'll be happy in your life. Okay. And then all of this, you have to be uh, practice meditation. It will encourage you to do good deeds. Okay. Then 
all of this. That's why we have to live in the um, right, uh, right place and good environment. Okay, that's some tip for you guys. And then uh, I'm so happy to see you all today, all here today. Okay, and thank yous again for uh, tuning in and then thank you for joining my meditation. I hope you guys are enjoying and then um, I wish you will be healthy, wealthy and live happy life forever, okay? Thank you, Mang Warawit, for leading the meditation tonight for us and also uh, some of your um, guidance, wisdom guidance to us. Thank you again. So Max uh, and uh, Isis and Thomas, what do you feel on during the meditation? I feel like um, I'm very peaceful and I was having the stress about homework and not finishing it anymore. So now I'm very happy that stress has gone away. Nice. What about you, uh, Max? Well, I really like the... I like uh, already uh, thinking about the idea of plants. Uh, and the uh, and the kind of like plans we have to adapt to things and do correct things. So I was kind of thinking about a plan in my mind. That's great. What about you, Thomas? Did you um, have a good meditation tonight with us? I feel very at peace and calm, and I like that it helped me de-stress. Same with ISIS. I have a lot of homework to do after this. And uh, yeah, thank you. That's great. So I felt uh, very calm and happy as well. So before we um, end our program, uh, Max, do you have anything to tell our friends at home? Friends, don't forget to meditate as often as you can each week. It's good for you. What about you, Thomas? And we will see you all again every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook at Kids Love Peace 20 channel and join our Zoom meeting ID 965-6865-2090, passcode 072. Don't forget, give us a like and subscribe below for support for our program. Yes, and thank you again for joining us this evening. Have a wonderful week, guys. Until next Monday, we'll see you at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at Kids Love Peace 20 on Facebook and YouTube. And bye now from Kids Love Peace 20. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good day.